So as I'm writing my book, Age of Context, I, I'm getting around and seeing really interesting new businesses that are using sensors in your cell phone to do all sorts of fun things. Here's one uh, from Club Local that is actually letting you hire plumbers or exterminators or other handymen to come to your house, sort of like Uber lets you hire a taxi or a, a ride in town. And they're just coming on the market and it's a really interesting idea. Who are you? Uh, my name is Zorik Gordon. I'm the uh, president and CEO of Reach Local. Um, you know, my background is I've, I've been in the internet space since uh, the late 90s. I've started several companies and I started Reach Local about nine years ago and uh, we've grown it into a, a really large business. It's publicly traded and uh, has about uh, 20,000 customers and almost half a billion dollars in revenue. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. You know, as I get around, and write, I'm writing this book called Age of Context, which is all about wearable computers and sensors and how mm -hmm. it's changing business. And one of the things I notice is stuff like Uber is going to increasingly happen where I get to see the, the merchant on my phone coming toward me and they get to see me <laughs> and we get to check each other out and uh, decide whether we're going to do business or not, right? Mm -hmm. And you're doing the same kind of thing. Can you, can you tell us what, what this new uh, thing is that you're doing? Sure. So, so we clearly see a world where the world's local service transactions, doctors, dentists, plumbers, HVAC uh, providers, those things are all going to be moved to transact in online. What we mean by that is not just finding them via something like a Google or Yelp, but actually the booking and buying process. That's the real big next trend. Um, and we've created to that opportunity, we, we really spent a lot of time thinking about that process for the verticals I just described, and really have come up using mobile and online with a fundamentally better way of doing this, both for the consumer, for the merchant, for the technician, um, and we're pretty excited about it. We call it Club Local, and uh, we're about to launch it actually in San Francisco in, uh, in a little short while. Yeah, and so what, is it, what does it do for me as a customer? I need a plumber, or I need a handyman for something. Sure. Uh, maybe a roofing guy. Or well, we, we all have those needs. In fact, that's why we call them the need-based local verticals. It's very different than, for example, things like Groupon, where you are, you know, they're impulse buys, right? I'll, I'll buy a restaurant voucher because I'm going to the restaurant twice a week. Over the These are need-based. I don't care about a plumber until something leaks in my house. So, so what we basically said is, for a consumer today, that process from something's broken in my house to getting a merchant, really, for the lack of a better word, stinks today, right? Yeah. I don't know who to call. There's too much information to shift through. I don't know how much any of this is going to cost. There's zero pricing transparency. Nobody can tell me what they should be paying for a plumber. I know what I should pay for travel. I know what I should pay for retail. A trillion dollars worth of transactions today, zero pricing transparency. I'm picking up the phone to make an appointment. Hopefully somebody will pick up. And when the guy shows up, I'm buying this with triplicates and carbon copy. This is an antiquated, broken process. And Club Local is our version of how would we make this work in a perfect world? And we went ahead and built it. So Open Table lets me reserve a restaurant table, right, tonight. And I get to see that there's a mm -hmm. slot at my favorite restaurant. And I can take it. Is uh, Club Local the same idea where I, I need a plumber right now? My, my house is filling up with water. Instead of calling 20 plumbers and going, Absolutely. hey, can you come today? I can just go to what, Club Local and see that there's a plumber you available? Can, you can get somebody on their way or booked in less than 30 seconds with what we've done. Because first what we did was we said, one, we are actually going to go into the local markets and select the best merchants. So we go in, we do all the background checking, we do criminal background checks, which by the way, about 10% of our early, early plumbers and, 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 and merchants did not pass, which is a little scary. Um, we actually also ongoing rate these guys. So you know you're going to get a good merchant. We actually go ahead and negotiate the prices. So you know you're going to get a good merchant. You're going to get a good plumber to fix your problem at a good price. You literally just open the app. You say, I need a plumber. We show you the hours that they're available. We do everything in two hour blocks. You should book it. You maybe take a picture of what's going on if you'd like, and you're done. You're putting it down. You're back to, you know, stopping the leak or eating your Cheerios. And, and, and you know, you're going to get a really good uh, provider there in a very short amount of time. How fast do I know that that plumber's on their way? What's the experience like for a customer? So again, we show you the times available. So it could be very well that we can get you a plumber uh, in the next, you know, it's, it's 1030 right now. We can get you a plumber between 12 and 2. And one of the interesting things we do is when that plumber is en route, because everybody's on our system, they actually press that I'm en route and you get a notification. And as you said, like Uber-like, you can actually see, oh, this guy's 28 minutes away and you can track them as they arrive. So none of these, you know, waiting around the house, you really are in the know throughout the whole process. Um, and again, it could be as short as, you know, an hour from now because we do show things in two hour windows. Yeah. 
this is sort of like Uber. It's only in San Francisco right now, right? Well, no, we actually launched in Dallas. Uh, that was our beta market. We've been in, in Dallas for uh, almost eight months, and San Francisco is, is our next market. So we're, okay. we're, we're starting to slowly expand it out. Because you need to do like, the background checks and set up the, the merchant agreements and all that stuff. You're doing a lot of work behind the scenes that we, the customer never really sees, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, you know, for example, you know, before we launch something like San Francisco, we, we've already begun talking to merchants, getting them on board, doing all the screening, getting them to understand. Our, there's a whole back-end system that we actually enable them uh, to, to provide their services with, which today most of those providers are using a whiteboard. Yeah. Um, so we give them a scheduling system. They can actually do some fleet management. Uh, we give some BI. So we get them up to speed. We train their techs on how to use the iPads. So all of the technicians have Club Local provided iPads that allow them to, to schedule, uh, allow them to book follow-ups. They actually do the estimate and the invoice and all the payment is done right there on, 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 on the actual iPad. So every site. plumber and every roofer is going to be carrying an iPad around with them. Yes. And it's probably an LTE connected iPad so they can get online everywhere. Right? Absolutely. So we uh, I mean, clearly they'll come with Wi-Fi, but they, they, they've got an LTE connection in these markets. And, uh, and you know, there's some, there's some uh, uh, legacy connectivity that they have on there, but it's, it's, it's really they're enabled to do everything that they would have to do via paper. Uh, including even scheduling follow-up appointments right there through their iPad. So uh, let's say you're the plumber and my house is leaking and I, I book an appointment mm -hmm. with you. What shows up on your iPad? So as, as a dispatcher, I'm going to get the appointment. I'm going to say I'm going to give it to, to Bob, who's the best available uh, technician. I'm going to book that. Bob's iPad says I've got a new appointment right there. They actually see that. They can see all the details of what's wrong, any pictures that you've uploaded. Maybe somebody else has been out before. All that history is available to them. They go ahead, they, they see what the problem is, they create an estimate right there. The uh, consumer sign says, this is great, I'll go ahead and fix it. They fix the problem and the payment is taken and a receipt gets emailed to you. We actually store all your paperwork online in our account so none of those papers to lose like we always lose as, as, as those home repair people come into, into our lives and, and, and leave us with a bunch of paperwork we can never find. A, the ratings are all done there. So it's a 100% digital experience from booking to the merchant to, 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 the, to the end payment process. Is it only available in San Francisco City proper or, or is, how, how many miles away from San Francisco? Is so we're gonna cover a very large uh, uh, swath of the Bay Area. So I think we're gonna go cover Marin all the way through through the city, all the way down south. I think some of the East Bay will, will be future coverage and I, I'm not exactly sure how far into San Jose we're gonna go, okay. but it's going to be uh, available across most of the San Francisco DMA and, and we're pretty excited. This is a great market and uh, I think this is, this is a perfect product for it. And is there an iPad app for the customer so, or an uh, iPhone app so I can book a plumber on my phone? Absolutely. You can book via a desktop. So literally you just press the, uh, the, the book button or the fastest way to book is actually through the iPhone application uh, where you could literally just pick your, pick your category, you pick your time and you're done because you've already registered your name and your address. So you can literally through the iPhone application be done in 20 seconds. So the plumber, on, on, when he accepts my appointment and it's at 12 o'clock, let's say, what happens then? He's maybe on his way to my house. What, what do I see on my phone? So he's going to status that he's on the way to your house. You're going to know. You could track him as he arrives to, to, to your house. Um, you know, the dispatcher is also watching him. And if something goes wrong, able to communicate with him. So, so you, the whole process is, is, is transparent. Again, when he gets there, he statuses himself that he's on site. And he begins to do the process of fixing it, whether that's an estimate or doing the work right away. Very cool. Um, and you said you skewified uh, all the prices. So, you know, if there's a shower head that needs to be replaced or something, you have a standard pricing for that. How, how does that work? Because a, a lot of things in the house are custom. They're not quite, you know, they're, they're not standardizable, you know? Right. Th that was one of the hardest things for us to figure out. Um, you can't, for example, like you have with, with, with the Groupons of the world, have just a single voucher because what breaks in your house with plumbing or, or HVAC is very different than what happens in mine. And the real revelation for us was at the end of the day, everything that a plumber can do can be skewified. So we actually went through the process. And for example, in plumbing, we have 5,000 different service SKUs. And we upfront negotiate the prices with our merchants for what those prices are. So they can't change that when they get to your house. Um, and we actually walk, phone around the area and get a sense for what the market price, and we actually negotiate some price savings as well. So, you know, for, for plumbing, it's 5,000. For something like mobile auto detailing or locksmith, it's a much smaller set of, of SKUs. But the trick is to create a standard set of SKUs that cover pretty much 90 plus percent of everything that a plumber can do upfront. And then you're getting a real situation where 
upfront, nobody's changing the prices. When we were doing our initial research, we saw people range their prices by 100% based on the same problem in the same area. Yeah. Also range their, their prices based on how you came into their system. If you said I came from a publisher I'm not gonna talk about, they're actually gonna charge you more and they can get away with that because it's not standardized and it's not upfront. We're gonna change that, it needs to change. I mean, we're used to standardized transparent pricing in retail, we're used to that in travel, it needs to come to local services because this is a trillion dollar industry. A trillion dollars across home and health and all these things. And this is happening today with the consumers having zero pricing. Trade. It, has to, it has to stop. And, you know, I think this is a huge step towards, towards making that a, a transparent. So I'll reality. know the price before the work starts. You're going to come out to my house and say, oh, man, there, this shower needs to be rebuilt. And you'll put in there a standardized price. I'll know the price uh, before the work starts. Absolutely. Right. So the price... And if I don't like the price, I can stop the work at that point? It's free for us to come out. There may be a diagnostic fee. It depends on certain things, but we'll come out for free. We'll estimate the, the job for you. And the prices that make up the estimate were pre-made flat pricing that, that, that the actual merchant can't change up, up front. And I think that's a, that's a huge, huge difference the way it should be. And you guys are uh, getting paid, what, about 30% uh, commission? It, so it, if, if I spend... $200 on this job, you'll keep 30% of that? Yeah, we, we take a percentage at the transaction. And, and what we've done really is, it's a real partnership. Um, I know there was a lot of talk in terms of, of when there were, were the deals business where there was a lot of inequity between how much the merchant was discounting and, and, and the consumer stuff. You know, we, we get a good price for the consumer with a great service and, and a great quality service. We, we have a healthy uh, enough margin for us to be successful and the merchants are, are making enough money for them to be successful. So, so we feel really good about that balance. We want to create a healthy ecosystem because there's so much inefficiency yeah. in what exists today. You know, there, there, there's a lot more value that could be extracted in keeping everybody happy at the same time. And I, do, is it like Uber where I, I rate the plumber and sure. say this was a great plumber or this guy did a crappy job or it's something like key. that? It's key, it's key. We had 45% of our transactions in Dallas and there were several thousand rate us. And of those, 75% gave us five stars. Kind of shows how much they appreciated having a, a good process. And we then use those ratings to filter out bad merchants and bad technicians. When we say on an ongoing basis, we're filtering. And that rating input is what's key. And it's also elevating the, uh, the, the better merchants. And we have allocation algorithms that are allocating the best merchant at the given time to, to your job. So we're trying to, in a very Google-like way, trying to lift the, the best merchants and technicians and, and create an ecosystem where only we have the great ones. If, my, if a plumber uh, wanted to put this system in place for his own customers, not, not customers that are coming through your system, but customers that are coming off their own website or co coming off as phone calls or something like that, do you have a different system for that, or, or do you have a system that's uh, like OpenTable for them? So it was, it was a little bit of, a, of an interesting you know, eureka moment for us that a lot of our merchants who were on Club Local and utilizing the system said, said to us, hey, I'd love to use this for, my, for my, my business, right? for all my customers that are not coming from Club Local. Yeah. And it really sparked us and said, you know what, we're actually going to take the Club Local technology, the online booking, the notifications, the tracking, the fleet management, the business intelligence, and we're building a SaaS platform that we're actually going to be selling to merchants, whether or not they're part of Club Local. You know, our vision is yeah. we know that these local commerce transactions are moving from offline to online. We want to power them, whether they come on our own brand, Club Local, which is great, or they're going to happen, which we know for a very long time, there's going to be a huge market where they're going to happen off of Club Local. I mean, Amazon is less than 2% of retail after yeah. all these years. So, so we see this huge picture. We want to we want to power the world's local commerce transactions regardless of how they happen. And we're taking that two-part two, two approach and we're going to sell both Club Local and this, and this SaaS platform. This seems like a business like Uber that it's going to get uh, copied. <laughs> you know, there's, there's Halo over in London. Sure. There's lots of taxi things coming out, right? And it's, it's a race to, clo to get a market built out. Are, how are you going to scale your business so you can close that down New York and all these other I was going to ask you, I have cities. no clue. Because <laughs> um, you know some kids like sitting in Samware Brothers are sitting in Germany going, oh, that's a for, great for idea. Former, I'm former investors of ours. But I, I know those guys really well and yeah. we hope they don't see this. Um, <laughs> they will. <laughs> it's a good idea. Um, but uh, listen, I think we're very, one, competition, this, this is what makes yeah. our space and our country great. And, it's already happening. You're seeing Uber, you're seeing you know, ZocDocs, you're seeing all these other players. Um, you know, we're very uniquely positioned. We're a public company. We've got you know, almost $100 million on the balance sheet, so we're quite well funded. We have 800 salespeople across the globe. So we have reach, we have 20,000 clients. 
Uh, we've been doing this for about 18 months. We've kind of kept it under the radar. We've learned a ton, and, and there's a significant bit of technology here. I mean, in terms of you know, the iPad applications, the synchronization that has to happen there, the whole back end piece, it, it, as well as you know, the consumer front end. Yeah. So you know, we think that you know, we have the assets. We, we want to be the ones that get to the right solution first, uh, because then I think we have some unique assets that can help the scale. But yeah, this is going to be, you know, we're, again, we need to step back and understand that what I'm saying, which I believe to be true, is a trillion dollars worth of transactions are going to happen in a very different way. Yeah. And the people who own those now are not going to be the people who own those when it comes over to the other side. Uh, so the race is on, but it's better for the consumer, it's better for the merchant, and you know, even if we can grab a decent bit of share, I think we'll all be quite happy. Yeah, where do we learn more about it? Uh, clublocal.com on the site. You can go to Reach Local as well, which is the parent company uh, uh, of Club Local. And you know, we're uh, we're, we're going to be announcing this and, and, and disclosing more as we you know push up to our San Francisco launch, which uh, again should happen early early Q2. Very cool. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on and nice, talking to me nice about it. Nice to meet you. Thank you.